Okay, in this next part, I kind of want to show the hardware because to me, the hardware is like one of the most important things on these headlights. I've seen too many problems where people didn't have the right hardware and it would always come loose on them and they, they wouldn't, they won't work properly if th this base isn't solid, uh, you know, locked in there with the, the correct hardware. So, uh, much of this stuff I have replayed it. So, you know, don't expect your stuff to be this shiny or anything, but um, you got these spring washers. There's three of them. And these are locking nut or locking bolts. They actually got a, a slot with some nylon in them. And, and then you use a regular nut. And the nut should go that way. Uh, and there's a reason for that is because once this is hooked up, you got this hole here that will go over that bolt just like that yeah, and it, it helps aid a little bit with the you know rolling that weight over um, on the back of this you know we got these three bolts we kind of mentioned and th they'll all get these flat thick washers you know with the with the standard metric bolt but they'll also get a little star lock washer um, over top of that. That'll help secure them. Uh, make sure they're they're locked in. Also on this base which sits in there it's kind of got the same thing. We we'll, we'll use these thick washers. You, usually they have thinner washers but as long as you're using a a, a lock washer with them you know these will these will secure in there and I like to have that already in the headlight bucket and just leave those three bolts loose so that will move back and forth. And then you have your yoke and there was two different style of bolts but you know basically like that and it's got a little locking a locking nut with it and th that secures in the front obviously on the front rotating pin. And it uses same kind same kind of washers, but it has these special lock washers that are they're serrated on both sides, inside and outside, and that the, they're pretty important uh, because there's a lot of uh, vibration and motion in these lights, and you don't you don't want that coming loose. So, and of course, you got your special headlight uh, bolts. They've got an 8 millimeter head to them and they've got a it's going to be hard to see but you can see a little bit of nylon right there they've actually got a slot with some nylon in them and that's to lock them in and that'll go into you know the the three the three holes there uh, and, and lock in now I only concern myself with one side at a time because that's all that matters don't try to don't try to get them all together in unison at the same time. You're just uh, you're you're gonna get overwhelmed with it. I I just get my my passenger side bar, which is the bar that doesn't have the lock to it, and I just prime this stuff because we're gonna be sanding and you know body fillers and stuff. So I, I don't want to. I'll repaint them later, but. Uh, this goes on and there were some original C clips that go over this. Y you can use them, you don't have to. Um, th th this rod's not going to fall off once it's in place. So, you know, just a, a, a word about that. Uh, purists may, may curse my name for saying that, but uh, then this piece, you know, you can kind of, it'll only go one way uh, with these these uh, roll pins and we'll get that in and, and set that down and then I've got the washer and that washer will go on top and and that's critical for that proper spacing so you know who knows how these worked you know they might have they might have not caught at times because this was spaced out too far it, it's hard to tell so th that's going over the hardware there I just wanted to kind of make a note about that and uh, what you know, getting the correct hardware uh, is important on this.